Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we're opening up three Yu-Gi-Oh! 20, uh, what, what's the official name? 25th Anniversary 10 Dueling Heroes. And I know I have limited space here. I, I realized as I started recording, yeah, this video might not actually work very well. But anyways, for every bad pack, I'll be taking a drink of Bacardi. It's not going to be a full uh, mouth gorging fest, but... Uh, I'm taking a sip every single time I get a pack with bad cards in it with no good cards. And this will also double as a review of Bacardi. I, I don't know anything about alcoholic beverages. I mean, you guys saw me review that, uh, that Mountain Dew fiasco. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So I actually, uh, it's weird. I'm going to, um, when I actually see the series on the cards, I will look up what the cards are actually a part of the set of because when I looked up the set on TCG player like uh, it just came up with the what I believe are the promo cards um, which is like Stardust Dragon, uh, Dark Magician, stuff like that basically like the main character's uh, monster. Oh, Eco Darker, there you go. Yeah, basically like these the quarter century secret uh, these guys. I'll leave them in the I'll leave them in the pack. You guys know what Eco Darker does, right? All right, well, I have to eat Bacardi. Well, first, let's actually get the series on screen on TCG Player. Wow, Ice Shade Creation Ice Fisher. Wow, that's crazy. Black Feather, Blackwing, Libromancer, Retroactive, Morphtronic Converter, cool. Shimson, Sincero, Sarakat, Dictator of D, love it. Oh, Theresia, I know she was actually pretty expensive before this reprint so i don't know how much she's going to be worth right now illusion of chaos maybe that's going to be good too let's look it up okay that's interesting so on tcgplayer.com this uh the packs are listed as 25th anniversary 10 and when I, when i was looking up what the tins are worth that's why i was getting the prices for the tins and the promo cards a little weird how they're split up like that but uh, what's diamorphia is she even on the front page Oh man, I don't see her on here. So she's maybe less than a dollar, but uh, Illusion of Chaos is about $2.50. All right, I'll, I'll look it up later. Anyways, those are them. Those are them, that's English. But anyways, no Picard yet. Second pack, let's go. Let me go back to the, oh, come on. There you go. Go back to the first page on TCG Player and continue. Uh, Labyrinth, blah, blah, blah. Melfi Wally, yeah, really lame commons I'm noticing in here. Part of Plant, cool. Nightmel the Dark Bonder, cool. Yamatako Orochi, at least has some cool uh, artwork. Dragonic uh, Pendulum, it's not a very good card, uh, even its own, in its own engine, but it is really cool artwork and stuff. So, uh, Libromancer Geek Boy, I don't actually know if Libromancers are good or not. I'm assuming not. What is this? Skeletal Dragon Felgrand. Oh, Felgrand, yeah. That's not a very good uh, art. Oh, Gastira Fenrir. There you go. That is literally like two tins. Oh my god, nice. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Gastira Fenrir. Let's go. I'm assuming Felgrand is like worth zero dollars, but I'll put them over there. Shoot. I really don't have a lot of space. <laughs> I'm realizing. Picardi's just sitting over there and it's taking up like half my desk. Alright, oh, come on, stop sending the card, please. I know that one in the front is a common, but whatever. Libromancer, cool. Oh, was that a Gem Knight card? Yeah, Rose Diamond, nice. Scare Claw, Donner, nice. Fire Opal Head, what, what archetype is this from? This is cool looking. Well, zero, no effect. I mean, that's interesting, though. That, you see, that, that's an interesting card in Yu-Gi-Oh! now. is something without a pendulum effect and without a monster effect. It's like, well, what does that mean? Um, Time Thief, cool. Overfusion, is Overfusion good? I know DDD, that's a good card, I already know it. Overfusion, I actually don't know what that card does, but it's a very long text, I mean, as you'd assume, right? Uh, Machin X, this is a reprint, um, probably didn't need to be reprinted. It was like a two or three dollar card, it didn't need to be reprinted. Beyond the Pendulum, nice! Nice, 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 that's awesome. I'm also, I was actually really surprised that they reprinted this card. I mean, it could use a reprint, right? But like, well, I guess they're just kind of like, all right, Pendulum players, like, Pendulum is a really decent budget deck. Um, 
not necessarily competitively liable, but it's, you know, it's a budget option. But then there's just this Beyond the Pendulum card that you really need to run, and it's like $9. And I could see it wasn't even on the first page, this Beyond the Pendulum, so. Because, like, the card has a lot of limitations, right? But it's just like, well, it's still generic uh, Link Pendulum support, right? You want that. <clears throat> So it's this. Oh, Galaxy Photon. Nice. Very cool card. Fun archetype, too. A little um, repetitive after a while, though. I was noticing with that deck. It's not a lot of room for expansion in that. Wasn't the biggest fan of that. Yeah. I need to give it more space to breathe. Don't mind if I do. Libra Rancer again. Labyrinth. Exosister. I'm trying not to spoil it. Exosister. Cool. Uh, never heard of him. Zalamander Catalyzer. Cool. That's a cool. Cool looking card, at least. I don't know if it's any good. Spellbound Blackwing. A Blackwing card? What? Then Therion Discoliseum. I think Therion's, Therion's are good, right? So, is this card maybe good? I actually don't know. I probably, you see, this is the problem. I can't look at the market before I dive into it because, uh, I didn't know where to find it. Nice, though. Alright, let's keep it going. Whew. Moving with the payload. You guys don't. <clears throat> okay. If you play Overwatch, you know what I'm referring to, but uh, you don't know why it's funny to me. Um, and several, three other people in the world find it funny. Nightmare of the Dark Bounder. What is it? Oh, Dino. It's one of the Dino Morphia things. Uh, Cashier Preparations. I don't think that's one of their really good cards. Double Agent. Yeah, this was a new Spiral card. I actually really like Spirals, but unfortunately this card just wasn't it. Shangri Era, it was already a cheap card even when, when um, Cashier was at their best. Oh, shoot. Well, okay, I need to double check. Oh, I might have to do a double sip here. Okay, one sec. Okay, so that was like two packs worth of uh, not good cards, and I forgot what I was doing with the whole Bacardi thing. So when I looked over to it, when I was putting the cards over there, I was like, oh, right, whoops. Alright, I will stand by it and crack it open here, and I will take two sips, one after another. Ugh. Smells like, smells like rum, to be honest, and a bit of rubbing alcohol. <laughs> oh, oh. That's pretty smooth for 40%. Ooh. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. I wouldn't call this like here it is. It, it's actually opened. I realized I didn't actually <laughs> show you guys. That's not bad. Yeah, I mean, I'm more of a brandy kind of guy. E and J back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Um <clears throat> <coughs> Punish myself with the second sip. Oh. <clears throat> not bad. Um but yeah, I wouldn't say it's a lot smoother than like a cheap rum. I wouldn't say it's a lot tastier. It has, it has interesting spices in it for sure. But uh, fun fact, alcohol already burns um, liqueur manufacturers, okay? I don't know what the hell I'm even talking about. But yeah, it tastes decent. It's fine. Whatever. Branded Regained. I, I doubt that's worth anything. And we got to Runic Destruction I think is actually, well, Runic something is good. <laughs> that's helpful but I, I haven't seen any yeah runic tip is the one i'm thinking of um there's, there's basically no ultras that are even close to a dollar so fateful adventure and then theresia again so theresia i think is wow she must be really cheap then which is surprising i, th I thought this was a decent um it was a decent budget deck before um when theresia oh theresia is like eight, uh, eight cents bro fateful adventure i have no idea where this may this may lie all right, we'll save that for... Oh, do I have to take a sip already? Shoot, okay. <clears throat> yeah, the way my stomach is saying, uh, no, not right now, um, makes me realize how not fun of an idea this actually was, but it's okay. Um, I will take another sip in a second. Just open it up first, nice and slowly. Let's talk about our lives real quick. How's things going for you guys? Everything going well? I was just putting the knife back. I don't know if you guys saw me putting the knife back. That was very interesting the way I did that. I'm, I'm now taking the... Right. Ooh, bit of damage. Bit of damage here? Ah, oh, decode again. 
Okay. Well, now I know why the other promos, because three tins, not a single good promo. So that's why that's why some of those, uh, the Dark Magician and Starlight, Starlight, Stardust Dragon. Am I drunk already? Stardust Dragon uh, promos are so expensive because, yeah, three trash uh, promos in a row there. So, but, and a repeat, which which tells you a lot. Okay. So before we dive into here, well, because now I'm stacking it against myself. Because if this is trash, excuse me, then um, we're we're, we're looking done and dusted. Cap is off, boys. <coughs> do you guys ever get a lotion-y taste from rum? I know I do. Um, I can barely even read that. Is You know what? I really should like get another light or something for this because I can't even read that myself because the uh, phone's casting a shadow on it. But all right. So that's God... The Trillium Mole Cricket. I mean, the artwork's cool. That's one thing I'll say for Modern Yu-Gi-Oh! People don't... It, case in point, people don't really like the waifu stuff. And yeah, I can kind of get that. But there's definitely cool artwork still coming out of this game. Runic Golden Droplet. Uh, Fateful Adventure again. Damn it. Okay. <clears throat> taking a sip. Oh. Don't worry, I will be taking a break. Oh, after I stop recording. <sighs> Caps off. <coughs> Woo. All right. Please stop being bad. I mean, the cash tier Fenrir, as I mentioned, that's going to actually get most of the cost, actually. So that's nice. You know, bland, blanded bleast. Uh, Exo Sister, Exo Sister, Cas Patel, cool. Pit Knight ear early, interesting. Faithful Adventure again, bruh. It's only one pack, right? Okay. Uh, I'll I'll do it for this one, but um, yeah. If the next pack is bad too, then I probably won't drink because it is a uh, whoo. Feeling it now. Not even drunkness, just like you drink liquor too fast. Uh, took the cap off. <laughs> okay. Man, I was so excited when I got Cashier Fenner. I was like, oh, this is going to be a good opening. No, not really. This has been kind of bad. <laughs> Eager Event, Decisive, Melfi, Reverse, Therion, Blue, Blackwing, oh my god. Uh, Alba, no, I don't think that one's a good one. Exo Sister, Therion, just call, see him again. Yeah, I think she, Sophia, might be like a dollar. Let's see. Exo Sister Sophia, Stella. Oh, actually, Vice's Starfrost. Star Starfrost. Starfrost was about a dollar, so that's cool. Uh, I'm just trying to get any excuse to not drink. Sophia is a dollar. Counting that as a win. All right, and now I will do my final tally. Oops. Alright, so in the end, we actually did pretty well. Illusion of Chaos, Cash Tier Fenrir, really nice. Machinex, Beyond the Pendulum, Spellbound is actually like 50 cents. Uh, Star Frost, about a dollar. Faithful Adventure, these are all like two dollars. I didn't even realize it, but yeah, not bad on the whole. Um, I'm gonna go have a sit. <laughs>